My name is Laura Butler and I'm a student at Trinity College of Nursing and Health Sciences and I will be presenting on Hildegard E. Peplau's Theory of Interpersonal Relations. In her own words, she says, interpersonal competencies of nurses are key to assisting patients in the work necessary for regaining health and well-being. Nurses have a unique role in patient care. They are on the front line providing patients with the hands-on care they need to heal from their ailments. The relationships that nurses are able to foster with patients through this care are sacred. Being a patient is incredibly vulnerable, and the trust they put in nurses to care for them is something that must not be taken lightly. Peplau's theory of interpersonal relations outlines how nurses should approach relationships with patients in order to facilitate healing. A little bit about who she was as a person. She was born in Reading, Pennsylvania on September 1st, 1909 and witnessed the influenza pandemic in 1918. This shaped how she viewed death and illness, as well as her practice as a nurse. She passed away in her sleep at the age of 89 in her home in Sherman Oaks, California, on March 17, 1999. A couple of fun facts about her is that she is regarded as the mother of psychiatric nursing due to her work with mental health patients and how the implementation of her theory helped them, and she also served in the Army Nurse Corps as a first lieutenant in World War II and used her experiences with treating shell-shocked soldiers suffering from PTSD during World War II and how she treated her patients. For her education, she graduated in 1931 from the Pottstown Hospital School of Nursing with her diploma in nursing. In 1942, she graduated from Bennington College with a bachelor's degree in interpersonal psychology. She went on to obtain her master's degree in 1947 and her doctorate of education in 1953 from Columbia University. Finally, she obtained a certificate in psychology from the William Allenson White Institute in 1953. Hildegard E. Peplau was very active in her career and from 1948 to 1953, she directed the graduate program of psychiatric nursing at Columbia Teachers College. She then went to the Rutgers University College of Nursing, where she retired in 1974. In 1997, she was awarded the Christian Ryman Prize, which is considered the highest prize that is given out by the International Council of Nurses, where she was also a board member. And finally, at different points she served as both the executive director and the president of the American Nurses Association. Getting into her actual theory, Peplau defined nursing in her own view as a process where nurses engage in interpersonal relationships with people in need of health services. This process helps the nurse to intervene and provide care that is appropriate to the problem that the patient is having. This theory involves four phases, the orientation phase, the identification phase, the exploitation phase, and the resolution phase. The first phase of this theory is the orientation phase. This is where the patient and nurse meet and the nurse is initially a stranger to the patient. At this time, it is important for the nurse to identify themselves and their professional role as a nurse. Doing so provides the patient with the background they need to trust their nurse. The nurse will also define the problem the patient is experiencing during this orientation phase, and it is important that the patient seeks help and shares information with the nurse about their problem. Doing so will allow the nurse to respond to the patient's needs. This initial encounter exemplifies the importance of fostering an interpersonal relationship from the beginning. The next phase is the identification phase. This is really when the patient begins to work with the nurse to address their problem. The nurse must identify what the appropriate interventions are for this patient, as well as develop a nursing care plan to get them to their goals. Once this plan is created, the patient begins to feel that they can deal with their problem and feel more hopeful about their recovery. Because of this, this phase is essential to the patient being able to heal and recover. The third phase of Peplau's theory is the exploitation phase, and this is the actual doing or implementation. 
the nurse must be involved hands-on with the patient's care and be prepared to problem solve to help the patient overcome any limitations they may have. The nurse must be prepared to use or quote unquote exploit all available resources to ensure that the patient is making progress towards their goals. Implementation is guided by the plan the nurse and patient worked together to develop during the identification phase. It is also important for the nurse to remember to maintain the respect and dignity of the patient during this time. Patients are very vulnerable when in the hospital and it takes a lot of trust to allow nurses to provide the care necessary for the patient to improve and heal. And the final phase of the theory of interpersonal relations is the resolution phase. This phase is meant to wrap up all the work the nurse and patient accomplished during their time together. The patient's needs have been met by working with the nurse, which indicates the patient no longer requires nursing services and can become more independent. These things must occur before the resolution phase can happen. Finally, dissolution of the relationship requires reflection by the nurse. Not all relationships end with the patient being discharged. For example, a relationship could end due to the death of a patient. It is important for the nurse to reflect on that relationship, what they learned from it, and how they helped that patient. This theory is relevant to nursing because it is the core of nursing practice. Patients were not always viewed as individuals, and when nurses began to have these interpersonal relationships with patients, it revolutionized what it meant to be a nurse. It could also be argued that nurses must develop relationships with patients in order to give them proper care. Knowing the patient's background and circumstances allows nurses to develop relationships to give them better care. Nurses at their core view their patients as individuals and care about each patient they encounter. The four phases mentioned previously give structure that provides intention for how to carry out a nurse-patient relationship to benefit both parties involved. Additionally, when nurses are able to collaborate with patients to reach common goals, it gives the patients autonomy and involvement in making their own medical decisions. As I mentioned in the application section, nurses must move through the four phases of the theory with patients to successfully develop interpersonal relationships. An example could be a nurse working on a post-surgical unit who admits a patient after a total right hip arthroplasty. This is a major surgery that requires careful attention by the nurse in order for the patient to heal. In the orientation phase, it is essential for the nurse to identify themselves and explain to the patient what their role is in caring for them. During this time, the nurse can also get to know the patient and understand more about their medical history and prior experiences with healthcare. Then in the identification phase, the nurse must come up with a game plan for this patient's treatment. They will observe and assess the patient to see what assistance they will need and go from there. This could include interventions such as an abduction pillow to help stabilize the hip the patient had surgery on and medication to help manage their pain. In the exploitation phase, the nurse implements the plan they come up with in the identification phase. This is done in collaboration with the patient to involve them in the healthcare process and help them maintain their autonomy. Finally, in the resolution phase, the patient no longer needs nursing care in the hospital and is ready to be discharged. At this time, their relationship with the nurse ends. So in conclusion, nurses must use Peplau's theory of interpersonal relations to care for all patients. Developing relationships with patients is essential in understanding patients and working together as a team to reach their goals. The four phases of this theory outline how a nurse should approach each patient relationship to provide the necessary resources and expertise to ensure their patients are successful in dealing with the problem that brought them to the hospital. In implementing this theory, nurses are established as trusted professionals and patients are established as individuals who need personalized care to thrive and heal. And a couple discussion questions are, how could a patient who has barriers to communication be approached to establish an interpersonal relationship with them? And if this theory did not exist, how might that impact nursing care and how nurses perceive the patients they care for? And here are my references. Thank you.